quick stop there. Okay, all right. <laughs> that was a little scary. Ooh, another pretty quick stop here. It's gonna try to change lanes, and there's a semi coming up. And okay, don't do that. What? No. What? Why are you doing that? That's not a lane. <laughs> That's not a lane. Okay. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tesla Challenge. This is episode five. Gonna be honest, I'm a little nervous for this one. Um, so this is another highly requested one. I'm heading home from work, it's Friday afternoon, and there's gonna be some insane rush hour traffic. Um, geez, Mr. Bus. So the goal of this challenge is to let my car do what Tesla advertises that it can do, which is highway on-ramp to off-ramp with zero interventions. So I'm gonna get on the highway here, I'm gonna turn autopilot on, I'm gonna let it merge, I'm gonna let it drive me the entire way home until it exits the highway, whatever way it wants to take, and gets me home. So let's get the challenge started and see how it does. Okay, so on the on-ramp here, uh, I turn that on as soon as I can. So for the rules, I will not adjust speed, I will not adjust following distance, I'm gonna let the car do everything that it can do. Uh, so this is one of the nervous parts, we're coming on to the highway and it's going a little slow, but we do have a gap here. So it did merge onto the highway successfully, so that's pretty good. One of my biggest annoyances is when <laughs> there's these huge gaps, the car centers itself. Um, I'm sure we'll see that a few more times as this goes on. So it's gonna be really congested. It's gonna be a little boring for me, uh, but luckily for you guys, I can just edit the video and speed everything up uh, and slow it down at the exciting parts or any interesting things that happen. Okay, so here's our settings. 78 miles per hour, I'm gonna leave it there, and follow a distance of two. So from here on out, I'm gonna keep my hand on the steering wheel. I don't know if you can see down here, but I keep my hand uh, on the bottom left of the steering wheel most of the time. Sometimes I'll touch other parts. Um, and I just let the dead weight of my hand uh, have the car know that I'm holding on. And that way, it doesn't bug me. I don't have to do anything, the car does it all. So a lot of the drive is going to look like this. It's going to be just stop and go traffic, lots of cars everywhere, and autopilot is great for this. It will keep your lane, it'll keep your speed, it'll do the stopping and going for you, but navigate on autopilot, you know, one step above autopilot, can sometimes be a little bit annoying. Uh, it'll, turn the it'll turn the turn signal on and uh, like not move, you know, people are like, what are you doing, what are you waiting for, and the car just won't kind of get over even though it says it's going to. Um, so a lot of times in this t kind of traffic, I do a lot of intervening, um, or I just simply, you know, hit this button and just have normal autopilot on, um, and then I'll tell the car when to make lane changes. Um, but for these challenges, you know, this is what Tesla says the car can do. It says it can go on ramp to off ramp, and I've had some successes. Um, I've gone pretty far. Today's going to be about 25 miles, um, and I've done 25 miles before, but there wasn't nearly this much traffic. Uh, and then I've done 45 miles as well. Uh, but the car failed right at the end. I mean, it was ridiculous, I couldn't believe it. Uh, so we're gonna see how it does today. All right, so it wants to change lanes. Looks like we have plenty of room, so no problem with that one. All right, so going to change again. Uh, still pretty clear, so I don't expect any issues here. Um, I can show you my settings really quick. Uh, I usually forget to include the information at some point. Um, so here's my Navigate on Autopilot settings. Uh, I personally find Average is much better than uh, Mad Max. It's just a lot less uh, chance for the car to fail. Um, sometimes you'll sit in a slower lane a little longer, but I'm okay with that. I, I don't need to be swerving in and out of traffic at all. All right, so that's a really good uh, getting out of the passing lane there. Uh, I think the traffic in this lane is a little bit slower, but that's all right. We should stay here until we need to get back over. So a really early lane change there. It saw that car up ahead going slower pretty early. 
uh, and this is a good spot to be. If you are familiar with my videos, you'll know that uh, the left lane here during rush hour is legal to use despite the solid yellow line. That green arrow there uh, means that you can use that lane, but the Tesla Autopilot will never cross um, a solid line. You can see here it doesn't even consider that a lane. It considers these two lanes and there's not one there even though it sees cars driving there. Um, so it's, it's a little bit annoying. Uh, if I'm not doing a challenge, I can just obviously get in that lane myself and turn the system on. Um, but I wish they could, you know, read that green arrow and figure that out. So yeah, this left lane is ending up here. That's why the speed coming up, the suggested speed's going down and you can see all these people getting over. Um, I forgot to mention, I added this. Um, this is actually, if you've ever seen Tesla Driver, uh, this is something he does. I had a comment a while ago um, suggesting I add something here so you have a reference point and you can see kind of how the wheel is moving, just the small movements it makes as it's driving. So I thought that was a great idea. Uh, so shout out to Tesla Driver and uh, figure that would help you guys kind of see what's going on. All right, now this is gonna be tricky. I'm really hoping the car gets over while there's room. It doesn't look like it's going to. Um, because as these people try to merge, they're gonna be mad if I don't let them in. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting over. Uh, plenty of room. Okay, wanting to get back over. This is a little bit of what I was talking about, when they navigate on autopilot and heavy traffic, it'll kind of keep trying to go back and forth. And as long as there's room to do it, I mean, that's okay. But a lot of times, you know, you'll get caught up where there's not room and the car just keeps trying, keeps trying, and that can be a little annoying. Oh, really quick stop there. Okay, all right, <laughs> that was a little scary, but uh, the car stopped fine. So again, this is a time where I just would have stayed where I was uh, and it would just make things a little easier. Um, but it, the car thought, you know, for whatever reason, for that one second, it was faster over here, so it just had to move over. Ooh, another pretty quick stop here. It's gonna try to change lanes and there's a semi coming up. And okay, that was, <laughs> that was, uh, not the best. I almost actually took over there. It's probably hard to tell. So this camera stuff's a lot closer than it looks like in this camera and I've been trying to figure out a way that I can get you guys like another view looking behind me or off to the side or something uh, but I just I don't really have any good ideas for that and the semi didn't honk at me. He obviously didn't care. There was enough room but it was right on the edge of I was like I think I need to hit the accelerator. Uh, so that was almost a fail right there. One benefit of this crazy stop and go traffic is autopilot nag takes much longer. So you can take your hands off the wheel when it's going this slow and relax a lot more than you can if you're going faster. Still not worth it. I just want to go, but yeah. All right, another annoyance for me on this route 
you can see this line here the car wants to do a lane change to follow route uh, but it does not need to do that it could stay in this lane for the whole time but there's something wrong with the map data it thinks it needs to get to the right um, so this is another kind of possible failure point All right, well, it ended up picking a really good time. There's a huge gap. Show you the camera. Nobody's there at all. Um, so we should be all set for a little bit. Okay, so a good amount of merging traffic here. And if this, so it's already locked on to that person. It knew they were getting in. <laughs> that was perfect. Really good. Um, it, it's really exciting when you see, okay, this is what makes me angry. Stop doing this. <laughs> it's like centered here. Oh, I can't stand it. It is so annoying. Um, but yeah, it locked onto that car like before they even started changing lanes. So it knew they were merging. It let them in. It did like a perfect zipper merge. And that was probably just a coincidence, but it did it. Um, so that was really nice. I, I usually have really good experiences with uh, cars merging on. The Tesla seems to pick them up really early and let them in with plenty of room. Um, so I, I pretty much never have a problem in that situation. Again, this would be a great place to get over and go a little faster, but the car thinks it needs to be in this lane. And okay, don't do that. Why, no, what, why are you doing that? That's not a lane. <laughs> That's not a lane. Okay. Um, that was really stupid. Oh, it thinks it's in a lane still. It's not. Whoa. Okay. And now... Okay, I've never seen it do this. What? What is it doing? Get over. Oh my gosh. That was weird. Okay, normally I don't let it stay on that side. Like I said, I just turn off navigate on autopilot there and, and use normal autopilot stay in the left. Um, so that part of the road is really messed up. Uh, I didn't, I didn't realize that. We're lucky nobody else was there. That would have been really bad. It's a weird little thing. It counts it as a car, not a motorcycle. It handles this kind of stopping and going really well. Uh, sometimes if you're coming around a bend, like this one, but maybe a little sharper, uh, it'll have a hard time seeing the cars up ahead and it may kind of scare you a bit because it quickly, you know, goes um, into the, sorry, my phone had some message, it distracted me. <laughs> um, it, it quickly kind of will hit the brake because it didn't see the cars stopped up ahead. Um, but most of the time, if there's good visibility, uh, the car does really well in those types of situations. All right, yeah, perfect time to get over. Could do it a little faster, um, you know, but, but that's, that's okay. There, there was room to do it, but it's just, it's just a little sluggish. All right, so we're almost to the end here. I just gotta say this video was sponsored by these awesome floor mats. How do floor mats sponsor a video? I'm not sure, but they did. Uh, so if you like these, just uh, click the Amazon link in the description and check them out. All right, so we're just about done. We have a mile left. Um, this is where uh, it, the system failed. I think it was actually the last challenge is the same spot. It was supposed to take this exit. It was in the left lane waited till the last possible second to get over and then it couldn't get over and I had to take over but you know some people were saying why didn't you just leave it and let it see what it was gonna do well the problem was I had somebody behind me close behind me and the car in this lane started to hit its brake uh, so I couldn't let it do that now it's going to get over it's doing this pretty aggressively all right that was awesome okay so it got it found the spot got over. Uh, maybe it hit the brake a little too much in the passing lane, but besides that, that was actually a really good move. So looks like we're going to be good here. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit like. Uh, check out the other ones in the series. I have a playlist of all these videos, but let's see if we are successful here. And there it is, a perfect exit. Success. 
great job. So autopilot, navigate on autopilot in heavy traffic worked really well today. Uh, we had one or two little weird spots, uh, but beyond that, no big deal. So we'll do a little bonus here. Let's see if we can make this right turn. I've noticed um, on this version, 2019.28.2, I've made a few left and right turns. Um, now I've done them before in other versions, but they've worked a lot better on this version so far. And it could have just been coincidence. Um, it's not like I've done a ton of them, but the few I've done have been really good. So I'll just cut ahead. Let's see if this right turn works. Okay, and here we go. I'm gonna hit the accelerator because the point here is just to get through the turn. And see, look at that, right into the correct lane and everything. It made that right turn perfectly. That is so crazy. All right, thanks for watching. That's the end of this one. We got a success, and I will see you next time.